Welcome to Twitchimo Studio. In this cartoon animator 5 tutorial, we will create a vector template in CTA 5 and open it in Inkscape. Then link them together for a live update pipeline character design. Let's get started. Start off by opening cartoon animator 5. At the top menu, select, create, select, create character, select, human template, SVG. Cartoon Animator will open a character template in Inkscape. At this point, Cartoon Animator 5 is linked to Inkscape, but you will not see anything in CTA 5 stage area. In Inkscape, the top group, named Before Export Turn Off Visibility, can be deleted. This group holds the text identifying the different parts. I'm going to select the hip path. You'll see the dotted outline. Go down to the color swatch at the bottom. I selected red. In Inkscape, the body should be red. Hit the save button. This will now sync the changes in Inkscape to CTA5. We can now see that CTA5 is loading the template into the stage area. In Inkscape, let's change the hip color to blue, and hit save. You'll get the warning, that the character structure has been modified, and is no longer compatible. Hit yes. Every time there is a change, and then saved in Inkscape, the changes are loaded into CTA5. Let's test. Changing some of the graphics. I'm going to remove this joint circle. Again, save your changes in Inkscape, and the changes are reloaded in CTA5. This is helpful because, with the new naming convention, it's easy to get messed up. A misspelled name, or a forgotten colon or double colon, can really mess you up, and looking for that mistake, can be daunting. By doing your adjustments with Inkscape and checking as you go if a problem arises, you can use the undo function in Inkscape, stepping back until your character works again. Don't forget, you have to save in Inkscape for changes to show up in CTA 5. This is very important, now comes the tricky part. Any files in the temp cache directories will be erased when CTA5 is closed or opened. So before closing CTA5, go to C drive, users, your computer's name, app data, local, temp, ta5 temp, svg underscore cache. I created a shortcut on my desktop for easy access. Note that this shortcut link will not work unless CTA5 is running. This temporary cache houses our created human template.svg. To save your work in SVG format, copy human template.svg into a different folder out of the temporary area. Notice that as I close Cartoon Animator, the temporary cache is cleared, and our file is deleted. To test the clearing of the temporary cache upon CTA 5 startup, 
I copied and pasted our saved template back into the SVG cache folder, and notice, that as CTA5 opens, the cache is emptied. Important warning, always remember the temp cache files are cleared when CTA5 opens and closes and any files within those directories will be deleted. Copy and paste, your files out of this directory, before closing CTA5. What if we already have a saved SVG vector character file, and you want to connect CTA5 and Inkscape, with CTA5 open. Open the SVG cache folder, here is where the desktop shortcut, comes in handy, and paste your SVG character in that folder. Now in Cartoon Animator, go to, Create, but this time, go to, Launch to Inkscape, and open file. We can see our file human template 2020.svg, select it, and it will open in Inkscape. It looks like nothing is happening in CTA5, but when you make your first change in Inkscape, and hit save, it will sync, and load in CTA5. I'll change the hip color to green, and hit save. Now we can see Cartoon Animator is syncing with Inkscape. Again, the most important thing to remember is always, 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 copy and paste your work into another folder, away from the temp folders area, or your work will be deleted, when CTA5 opens or closes. This has not been tested with other vector editing software. So, if you use, Illustrator, Affinity Designer, or Corel Draw, please leave a comment if this worked for these editors. I hope this will help with some of the naming problems. Having a live sync between the Vector Editor, and Cartoon Animator 5. I have heard rumors, that there is going to be syncing, of editing between CTA 5 and Vector SVG editors, in a later update. Keep your fingers, crossed. If you haven't done so already, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like and hit notifications, to be notified of my next video. Thank you, for joining my journey of animation.